Hey guys, this is Liz with Mom's Machine. Today I have the new Husqvarna Automower 550H. Instead of using the low voltage boundary and guide wires like the uh, old ones and the previous ones that I've shown you on my channel, uh, this one uses the EPOS navigation system uh, as a, in a reference station. So guess what? No wires to put in the ground. Uh, first I picked up my automower and the reference station from a local Husqvarna automower dealer where I had ordered it ahead of time. I brought the box home, opened it up to check out what was inside. Uh, the bigger box is actually the automower and its charging station, and the smaller box is the reference, EPOS reference station. After finding a spot for the reference station, I set that up and plugged it in, and, you, and then I found a place for my charging station for the mower, uh, plug that in and put the uh, mower on charge. Then I paired both the mower and the EPOS reference station. I used the in-app remote control to set up my first work area and uh, it was off to the races. Right? Come on. Here we go. What's that weight? The weight about the same as the other weight? 30, 40 pounds? Thank you. That's awesome. Okay, so I just picked up the Husqvarna Automower E-Post. This is actually the 550H. And uh, so there's two boxes. And it's actually kind of two orders. One is the uh, mower itself and the charging station. That's what's in this big box. And the little box is the reference station, um, the EPOS reference station. So we're just going to open it up and check out what's inside. Okay. Alrighty, so let me show you what's inside. Here uh, we have the mower. That's the basic mower. Oh, hmm. it's got a nicer manual than uh, what I've seen in the past. So that's nice to know. Let's, I'll get that in more detail later. So that's your base. Looks a little different. This is smaller than the uh, uh, other ones. I guess you open it that way and do it, but I'll get it out. Uh, let's see what's this here. That's the base station. This looks like the transformer. It's inside here. And uh, these are your connector wires from the transformers. The, the screws that put the base station into the ground. And uh, I kind of like this. They put this in a new package before it was kind of just in a little bag in the old ones. Now let's open up this one. Okay, so here is the reference station. Alrighty. Uh, it has, it is hot here, humid and hot. It's been raining. How to set it up. Here's your connector wires. Kind of looks like the, uh, what is connecting the charging station. The same thing. Some screws with a little Allen wrench. This is, looks like a transformer power supply. It has two little hooks to hang it up so it's not on the ground. And I guess that hooks into here. Come on. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's to bolt the reference station into them. Um, there are three 
and they all look a little different. Want two look the same, and then one's a little different. I'm sure I'm going to find out. So, and we've had rain, so it's super humid. Here's the, I guess, the actual reference station itself. I guess it goes that way, or that way. There it is. Okay. Okay. This looks like a piece, that looks like the mount. Okay, well that makes sense. This looks like the mount with those four piece, metal pieces I showed you. Go on this, and this must go here. We will find that out. There we go. An orange Lamborghini. <laughs> yes. Okay. Orange Lamborghini. Looks pretty much same, right? Mm -hmm. Looks very similar. Doesn't have the guide wires on the back of it, or any wires, no perimeter wires. I bet they use the same mold for it. Just the plug in. Oh All right, come on over here. We'll plug it in. You know what? I'll put it right there. How about that? Next, I plugged in the charging station. Always have a surge protector on your charging station. Okay, I love this surge protector. And your reference station. Okay. All right, let's go see if the light's on. Solid green light. Okay, here's the charging uh, station. Uh, I've just got it set up here tempor temporarily. I've actually got it set up on the yard, but I move it whenever I'm going to operate it. I'm going to put it permanently. Um, so look at Time it. to set up my EPOS reference station. I'm going to lay it kind of down. It won't come off. You can see it's still flashing. I'm going to get the app. So the app, you one number one, you have to make sure you have the new app for this. And number two, you need to... Updates. Install. Okay, so here I got the reference station up on a ladder. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it here. And I've read the owner's manual. And as far as I know, once you put it in a place and you've done all your work areas, you can't move it. So I think it's going to go here permanently, but I'm not sure. But it's on a ladder and the ladder is fiberglass because you're not supposed to use a metal pole or a flagpole. So I thought this wouldn't interfere with it. But as you look down here, it's got paint. That way, if someone moves the ladder, I know where it goes. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my mower on. There it goes. And I'm gonna go to the app and connect it. To pair your mower, you're gonna need to download the Husqvarna Auto Mower app. As far as I know, it's absolutely free. There's no charge for it, uh, but you do need that first. I actually did not have my app updated so um, I had to do this before I uh, could pair it. The other thing you're going to need is your four digit pin code. That's an individual for each auto mower. So when you do order a uh, an auto mower, be it this one or a different kind from Husqvarna, they each come with their own four digit pin code. I forgot to get mine and um, I actually called the dealer and they had to uh, call the manufacturer and get the four digit pin. So it did take a few days and you don't wanna do what I do did, which is what you see here is where you see the pin code entry blocked. It says try again in 19 minutes uh, and so on. It actually gets to be more and more in time. So while I waited for the code, the old auto mower worked just fine. You got the remote control. Okay, so here I am driving it with a little remote control within the app, which is really a, really a cool feature. Um, I'm not the greatest at driving a remote control, as you see. 
and I'm going wrong the wrong way here. I'm actually trying to set up a work area and I'm going counterclockwise. To set up a work area, you have to go clockwise and you also need to set up the waypoints. So I did this the whole yard uh, without doing waypoints and um, did not set up anything. Okay, so before I go uh, out and show you how I did the work area set up correctly, let me show you on the whiteboard what I'm, I'm doing and what I did wrong and what I need to do. So here is our house and our driveway, and we got a little mulch area here. The new charging station is right here with the mower, and here on the other side is the reference station. I've got it set up temporarily on a ladder. I may change that. I'm not sure. So when I just did it, and I you, sh you saw me um, controlling it, I was actually going around this way. And if you notice, that's counterclockwise. And for a work area, you're supposed to go clockwise. So, um, so I should have gone this way. The other thing I did not do was set up waypoints. So um, let me show you on the, uh, on the app the pictures of waypoints. Okay, so here is a screenshot of the remote control within the auto mower app. If you look uh, to the left of the screen, there's a little thing that kind of looks like a little joystick. It's got a circle in the middle and an arrow up and down. That's how you control and drive it. Uh, then if you look uh, kind of on the right side of that with a little arrow kind of turning around to the right, there's the little house, the circle with the house. I don't know if you can see all of the little house in it, but that's the home uh, charging base station for the mower. And uh, then you see the little mower, little on the screen. That's actually where the mower was right when I took the screenshot. And if you see, there's a um, green line that's going around and those little dots, each of those little dots is an actual waypoint. To the right, there's a big orange circle with a, like a little balloon thing in the middle. Every time I wanna do a waypoint, uh, you just press that button and that drops a little dot and the dot will connect to the last waypoint. So you see there's not a line from where the mower is on the screen to the last green dot. And when I press that, uh, there'll be a line formed in a new dot. The little uh, white smaller balloon thing kind of below the mower, it's called a docking point. It's just where the mower backs up and um, gets started and it just kind of gets a base and figures out where it's gonna go from there. Also on the top of the screen is the e-post and I'll show you this when I um, actually do it, but this is, you can see it more clear here in this in this screen. On the top, if you see it says e-post, E-P-O-S, uh, and it's got a green light and it's checked. That means uh, the mower can locate the e-post and you cannot do a, a waypoint unless it has contact with that that station. So, um, so sometimes I was driving around and it didn't have uh, good contact with it, so it couldn't do a waypoint. So you have to get to a point um, in your yard where it's green and um, then that's where you can go. Um, and if you go all over the place and then do a waypoint, it'll only connect a straight line between your new waypoint and the last one. So, uh, and you to do any kind of work area or stay out zone, you have to have at least three waypoints. So you know what's the new app? When your mower is three-dimensional, it looks like a, a three-dimensional mower versus the, the uh, flat one on the old one. And then um, I've already got the work area, which I did without uh, showing you, but um, basically you do, so I'm going to map a new work area. I have no idea where, so I'm going to undock it. Uh, when I first started doing this, I did not know what a waypoint was, uh, and now I do. So you see I already got this work area, and it's, it's not allowing me, you see that little balloon looking thing, and it's got a line through it. And I believe, but I'll, I'll, I'll see in this video, it's because it can't see where the uh, reference station is. It's because it's on, it hasn't found it yet. So I'm going to drive it around a little bit. So the way you drive it around is um, use like a little joystick and you can drive it. So follow me. Okay, you see the EPOS has now turned green. So, and then this is the little thing you hit every time you want a waypoint. So I got it. It's got the reference station green. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a pin and you see the little bubble came up. 
that means a waypoint has been established. And as it goes around, it won't draw the line. See, I'm gonna go straight for a, a while. There's no line on the screen. There's no line, but once I do a, a, a waypoint, there, there's the line. Did you see that? Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm a little turned around. Anyway, so once you complete it, let me come back and complete my uh, turn. So come, come with me. And you gotta stay kind of close to it. So as you see it go up there, I'm gonna try to, if I can drive correctly, and I'm gonna hit done. So each little dot, I hit this button and those little dots are waypoints. You need at least three to establish a, uh, a work area. So when I did this before, I didn't have it. It wasn't, so I didn't click that. Now I hit done. You name the work area, test area two. So done, save, confirm save, uh, the second little work area. And what I gotta do to connect these two work areas is a uh, driving zone and I'm gonna show that to you later as soon as I find out how to do it. Okay, so here's a little screenshot of my work area and you see the mower is going back and forth uh, on the work area which is all green the red is going around a tree that we have in the front yard I did, it slips on that area so i made it a stay out zone and the stay out zone is made just like you do the work area except you go counterclockwise and you still have to drop your waypoints just like you do for your um, work area and here, so here's the areas I've done so far. It's just a, a test area too. That's the one I actually did for you in the video in a few stay out zones. And you can actually delete these uh, on the app if you need to or take them out and put them in. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned as much as I have. I know I still have some more things to learn and uh, things to do with my new auto mower. I absolutely love it so far, even though it's not been the smoothest ride. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section below. Uh, and thanks for watching Mom's Machines. And uh, check out my other videos and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. That's awesome. I love it. I am so glad I stuck with it and figured it out. Now I know what waypoints are. Here we go. And also kind of do a good job at doing this I might just delete it this is not the best video but I just made my first work area <laughs> this is exciting uh, my camera's dirty because I've been using it as a thing I do not know where it's going and it hasn't I don't I don't hear the mower yet it's very hard to hear oh I can't drive I don't know what I'm talking about. Is that right? Is this way? Is it this way? Or that way? Is it that way? Okay, so there's, um, that's just the support bracket for the bottom of, I guess the bottom of the post. But there's two different size post brackets. A smaller one for uh, 32 to 44 millimeters, that's that one. And then a larger one for 44 to 40, 55 millimeters it's a bigger one for a bigger post and I guess this is a support bracket only way we'll get to it okay and here is the manual for the reference station I wasn't able to do the app yet but I'm gonna go ahead and read it <coughs> uh, hmm so I'll go look through this and figure this out for a little bit. I am reading the quick guide to the new 550S. And I guess this is the first things first. Read it. Okay, I guess I gotta walk around with it to make my lines. 
Cool. A lot easier than, well, a lot easier than doing the wire. All right. So I'm gonna have to figure out where to put the reference station. Uh, it's gotta be able to put on a fixed object that doesn't rotate. That's okay. That's kind of obvious, but uh, has to be wide enough to put this. So that is 32 to 55 millimeters, or 1.26 to 1.37 inches. About that much, I guess. Um, has to be above the wall if it's on a wall. It needs to be in full view of the sky. Eight feet in height. And the maximum distance between the reference station and the product, you mean the mower, is 1,640 feet. So, here's our front yard. Um, I don't know. 